Hey you guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Raquel. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you so much for joining me today. I have decided today to make a what's in my work bag. I love looking at these types of videos, which I feel like I'm not in the minority when it comes to that. I think a lot of people are very interested in different people's lives, what they actually bring with them to work or in their daily life. So I just wanted to show you guys exactly what I bring to work so if you guys would like to see this video go ahead and stick around also don't forget to like this video go ahead and comment that definitely helps the algorithm as well and also of course don't forget to subscribe if you're not already so first and foremost i wanted to go ahead and show you the work bag i'm not going to show you the front just because it has my company logo on it this actually was provided by my company because we were just distributed um laptops like a week and a half ago which is awesome up into this point if you guys don't know i first started working in the office and then we moved to a hybrid model and when they did the hybrid model we got a desktop and now we turned all that in and they gave us laptops if you should need to take this traveling which i don't plan on it but it has a little travel thing that you can put on a suitcase which is really nice i also always carry around some hand sanitizer obviously i'll just show you my laptop we just got these laptops a week and a half ago so i really was not prepared to get any type of like case or anything for the laptop so i just used what i had which my macbook air that i've had since 2012 finally pooped out so i just used the carrying case that again i got from like five below a bajillion years ago so i'll eventually get something for my laptop i just needed some cushion for transport so i just used whatever i had so we obviously have the power Cord, my headset now for the particular job that I have I don't need to be on the phone this is just for internal purposes if we should ever like for instance I was training some of our new employees and since we're remote we actually had to do some teams training so I needed a headphone for that for my one-on-ones with my manager need headphones for that for our teams meetings just meetings in general and also for my devices I bring my chargers usually I only have one charger that I take to work specifically and keep on the go like I have a on the go charger and a at home charger and also I always bring my Kindle to work just in case I hardly ever have the time or dedicate any time on my breaks or at lunch reading but just in case I have downtime or if I have something scheduled after work I try to keep my Kindle with me at all times when I'm on the go I also keep my work badge with me and these glasses i have these blue light blockers um, they don't have any type of prescription these don't i take these to work i got these from amazon i got a clear pair and a black pair i believe they were like 20 dollars or less and highly recommend i literally look at a computer for eight and a half hours a day i definitely get eye fatigue and i can tell a huge difference when i do wear blue lights and when i don't another random thing that i bought and i bring to work from amazon this is what i use to transfer all my pictures and my videos from my icloud and off my phone i think this is two terabytes of storage on this thing and that's what i like to do on my downtime and the next random thing i like to bring is my lululemon crossbody bag i love it and then you can adjust the straps and wear it around like a fanny also if your back is tired and you can fit so much this is so worth the money you can fit so much in this little thing i always keep my airpods i keep some hand sanitizers i always keep a black pen kids always keep a pen on you i always keep some chapstick i love this chapstick I've only been able to find it at Walmart. It's by CarMax. This is just the Vaseline for your lips. I also like these little things. Some eye drops. These eye drops are specifically for contact wear. So I have that. Lactate, if you know, you know. Pepto, if you know, you know. Random movie, Barbie, of course. If you know, you know. <laughs> ID, I like this Laneige one also. Honestly, if I had to choose though, I picked this one. This one is $12 and it's great, but this one lasts a lot longer and it makes my skin and my lips feel actually moisturized. This one is amazing. So yeah, that's what I wear in my little satchel. You can easily wipe this down. If you spill anything on there, it doesn't really absorb any nastiness. Additionally, I always, no matter where I'm at, this goes to work with me and anytime I travel, this is like my first aid kit and I keep it with me at all times. So starting off strong, we have some ginger tea. Again, whenever I travel, I just put some um, in here for the amount of days that we're traveling so I just decided to put three because I was going on out of town this past weekend for like three days so I just put three little packs of ginger in there we have some Advil etc we have some probiotics random I know but help my stomach a lot 
So we have some tissue, band-aids, we have some motion sickness patches, very, very useful. I'm about to go on another cruise, so definitely we'll need those. We have some Pepto, a whole bunch. I buy these from Costco, my lactate. DC powder, another thing that really, really helps with my headaches and everything. The chewable Pepto, Tums. This is just for your toothbrushes. Is this Ally? This is why you should label stuff. Or is this edge control? Hold on. This is edge control. See, I would've tried to put that on my sunburns and would've fried it. <laughs> some Vaseline. We have some satin floss. I really like this one from Oral B. Gloves, sunscreen, Neosporin. What else? This thing just is never ending. We have some sanitizer wipes. Oh, and some Alka-Seltzer. So yeah, that's what I keep in my emergency travel first aid kit. Okay, let's talk about what I carry my food in. And this is what I use. So I finally found one that I actually like because I would go to Target and I would see some of them. And not to say that I'm very thrilled with the way that this looked, but I would see like their patterns and the shape of the lunch bags. And I'm like, for $40 or $30, I'm not really that impressed. I saw this at TJ Maxx for $20. And it also has like a matching cup. I like how big it is. Look at my head and look how big this is. This thing is huge. You just put soap and you just wash it down and it comes right off. Like it just doesn't like keep and absorb any type of spills and everything because of the material. And it just opens up so wide by the brand Fit Fresh. Proudly designed by women for women. This is my coffee cup and I use it for tea when I'm out and about too. I got this from Amazon. We'll keep your liquids piping hot. This is what I take with me. I love this thing. I've had it. I was working at the DME company. That was like four years ago and I still have it. I think it's 64 ounces. It keeps my water cold for at least 24 hours. It's amazing. It's by the brand Nathan. I got it again from TJ Maxx. It's pink. Obviously pink is my thing. It doesn't have like a spout or anything and I've tried to buy like a little attachment. I just didn't like it at all. So I just have these reusable silicone straws that I put in here and it's long enough. And also this thing gets heavy which isn't a bad thing because what I do when I'm walking, I, I hold it like this, just in case somebody comes behind me, you know. I can do it. You know what I'm talking about, ladies. Okay, that's what I think about when I have this with ice in it and a lot of water. This thing is extra as heck. Um, I think I got it last year. And then I was looking at it like, girl. It looks pretty in this room though. I love how it looks like how it looks in this room it's so cute but this is what i use my coffee like my iced coffee on the go this is the cup that i use for it so you guys that is all i really hope that you enjoyed this video if you have any questions please put them below put some video suggestions also in the comments again if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe and like this video okay i'll see you in the next one bye